Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 88, Merge Sorted Array. Here we are given two integer arrays, nums1 and nums2. Both of them are sorted in a non-decreasing order. And we are also given two integers, m and n, where m is the length of, uh, base, not the length, but the number of elements in nums1 and n, e, n is the number of elements in nums2. So we need to sort all the uh, first m elements in nums1 and all the first n elements in nums2. Basically merge these two, merge elements in these two uh, array and the resulting array should be uh, in nums1 array. So basically we are sort, the final sorted array should not be returned but instead uh, it should be stored inside the array nums1. So how could we solve this problem is let's see what what the problem statement basically says. Uh, it says that we have these two arrays. And the first one is this one and the second one is this. Uh, the value here is equals to 3. The value of n, the value of n is equals to 3. And now we need to merge these two arrays so that both of them are sorted and the value result is in this array. So how could we solve this problem? If we uh, sort, like if we start from the beginning, these two array, we know in order to sort, we need to compare two elements, right? Two values, A, is it less than then or B or not if it is then basically A will come first and then it will be followed by B right so that th th that is what should be the case so we check each element with the other element in this and we know one is less than two so basically one should come before two right so our resulting error should be something like that one should come before two and in the next case uh, we also need to compare uh, we need to compare two with the, this element two and we know two are equal so both of them can come uh, in any order so basically i will add this two first here and then increment and here three is greater than two so now i'll add this two here and then um, I'll compare 5 with 3. I know 3 is less than 5. So 3 will be the next element. And then I'll since my I have compared all the 3 elements of this array. So now what I'll do is at the end I will insert. I'll just push all of the remaining elements into the resulting array. So I'll just uh, gonna add these elements in my resulting array. But here actually I'm not changing my original nums one array. I'm actually creating building a new array, right? For us to um, change the original nums one array, we should. Uh, take care of one thing and that one thing is that uh, we should um, um, merge the two elements two errors such that um, these integers uh, uh, we do not lose the values that we have not yet compared those with so um, so basically um, what we could do is we could start from the end here we were starting from the beginning um to form a merged array right but now we could start actually from the end so for this uh we'll start from six and in this case we know m is equals to three right so we are going to start from uh index m minus one which is equals to uh, the value three here and in this case also basically it's n minus one which is equals to the last element here and we are going to compare these two elements uh, since these two elements uh, six is the largest one so we are going to pick the largest one and then update it here and then um, I move to the next element here previous one here and then compare it with three again five is the larger one so I pick five and change this in place um, next I compare two with three 
since 2 is smaller than 3 I pick 3 and then I replace it here and then I move to the next element uh, basically the previous element here and 2 and 2 I compare to uh, since 2 are both um, equal so basically I check um, push these two here or maybe any of those and then the next two comes here and then finally i have done comparing all of these elements in this area right so basically i stop my comparison because now the resulting array is also sorted so this will be our fun this will be how we are going to solve this whole problem now let's dive into the code so uh, we are going to start from um the last index um we are going to change at the last index right and the value of the last index is <clears throat> m plus n minus one uh, which is at index number five starting from zero one two three four five right so let um i and the index okay let me do current equals to m plus n minus one so basically i will be inserting at my current index now starting from for let i equals to zero okay not a for loop but we will actually need a while loop here let um i equals to zero and j equals to zero okay not zero but m minus one because we are starting from the end right we were starting from the end m minus one and n minus one and j is equals to n minus one and now while i is greater than equals to zero and and j is greater than equals to zero um that that is when we are going to check nums i is it less than nums j um if that is the case um then nums j is greater right greater element will go to the end so nums okay nums one and this will be nums two so the nums one at current will be um at the current index will be equals to nums two and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna increment since i have compared this value that is since um i have compared six i have inserted six now i need to move to the previous one right and compare it with the element at m so i'm gonna decrease the value of j else what i'm gonna do is will be the same okay i also need to insert that element here else my current will be equals to nums one index i and then r minus minus and then finally i will also reduce the value of current because we are moving uh, one step to the left every time even if we are inserting if we insert the value uh, we are moving the j or the ith index or and every time we are moving the current index now let's run our code let's run more examples okay okay let's run more of the examples okay so it's wrong here what's the case one zero one all right um so here 
in the last test case this one the value of m is equals to zero so i becomes equals to minus one and then j is equals to zero so basically in that case um okay um so there is there there could be a case where um we have actually traversed all the elements of i suppose uh for this case as well it will uh, be the same suppose i have something like one um four five six and zero 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 and then the next element is one two three so this my m is here equals to three and my n is also equals to three so here in these two cases well six is greater than three right so six goes to the end and then next my element is five i'll compare five with three five is again greater so now five comes here now i'll compare four with three four is greater so i'll put it in my loop next element here now uh, the value of i becomes negative right because at that case um i also have some elements still not uh, traversed i need to put all of these elements here right so that is what i will be doing here so um i'm going to traverse from j equals to zero uh, k equals to zero to the value of j um, and then insert it to my nums1 element so for let k equals to 0 k is less than less than equals to j and k plus plus and nums1 k equals to nums2 j all right so let's run our code and see great it's accepted let us use this example test case also and run this test case What was the extra space nums one must consist of values from zero to zero only is there an extra space here ah okay these values should be zero okay so Aha, uh -huh. all right. Um, so starting from nums k equals to k. All right, so let's now submit and see. Great, so the time complexity is for this while loop, it's O of n, and for this for loop, it will also be um, O of so basically uh, it will be o of m plus n uh, because in this case we saw right in this case here uh, we traverse through all of these three elements and then we are traversing to this one so it's o of m plus n time complexity m plus n and the space complexity is o of one